Hey guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Sugar, Salt and Spice. This is Sharda Ganesh and today we are going to see a typical Kerala speciality, vegetable stew, but with a twist. No garam masala, no spices, just vegetables and it's going to be divine. So let's check out the ingredients. I have a handful of vegetables here, some red onions. You can also go with white onions, but this is what I had at hand. Uh, green bell peppers or capsicum you cannot work without this uh, vegetable I mean both onions and uh, capsicum mandatory for the dish uh, some nice potatoes carrots and green peas now all these vegetables have been chopped uh, into strips just make sure whatever shape you cut them into they are all equal that's it I just uh, picked strips now ginger green chilies and curry leaves these three are the star ingredients of this dish you cannot work without ginger now if i have to pick one star ingredient that is going to be ginger if you don't like ginger please don't even bother trying to make this dish because it will not come out good without ginger and as you can see i have used almost um, two tablespoons of ginger that's quite a lot of ginger for a dish but that is going to impart a lot of flavor to this recipe. Trust me on this. One more thing. Now, as you can see, I have chopped the ginger into juliennes, small juliennes. So, I've not grated it or chopped it fine. Why? Because even in my house, my husband is not a fan of ginger. But he is okay with the flavor that it imparts. But he doesn't like eating it. Like me. I love eating ginger in any dish for that matter. So, he can pick this out and throw it. That is why I've chopped ginger into big pieces. So even if you don't like ginger, you can throw it away. Uh, green chilies and curry leaves. Now, curry leaves is also equally important. Uh, the flavor that it imparts, that's why I've toned it. Two cups of coconut milk. This is light coconut milk. Basically, I have diluted the coconut milk with water. Make it really dilute. Some thick coconut milk, curry leaves and coconut oil for garnishing and salt. So making this vegetable stew is really easy. There are no step by step additions or subtractions here. It's like I'm going to dump in all the vegetables, um, ginger, the aromatics, ginger, green chili and curry leaves and the light coconut milk. Now all these vegetables with salt, these, light, these vegetables need to simmer and uh, cook in this light coconut milk and absorb its flavor from that and ginger and green chilies and curry leaves will impart the flavor dump all these vegetables inside the pan in which we are going to make the stew that is it now i'm going to dump in the ginger green chilies and curry leaves now this might look like a lot of uh, ginger but trust me um, the one and a half cup of thin and thick coconut milk is going to mellow down all the sharpness of these aromatics and the end product is going to be simply so lumping this in and this one cup of thin coconut milk is going to go in this is last but not least salt now you can always check salt in the end so mix it all up and this is going to go in the stove and this is going to keep simmering and once all the vegetables are done I don't need them mashed up I just need them tender and cooked and soft to touch so as you can see the stew has been simmering for like um, 10 minutes now and the vegetables have cooked they are not mushy or anything they are just uh, cooked so now it's almost done that's it I am going to pour this one cup of uh, heavy coconut milk thick coconut milk and with after this I'm just going to switch off the stove give it a good mix and then I'm going to drizzle half tablespoon of coconut oil and then I'm going to add some curry leaves I'm going to tear them 
and I'm going to sprinkle them and I'm just going to remove this from the stove and close it with a lid and keep this for five minutes before serving I mean at least for five minutes before serving that's it so this has been sitting like this for 10 minutes now and there you go the stew is all ready so now we can transfer this to a serving bowl the whole house smells wonderful from the stew you'll know when you cook the stew so so that's my stew all decked up and ready to be served I have some hot hot dosas happening there which I'll be eating shortly so I have one hot dosa here and typically uh, the stew can be served with appam, chapati, awesome with chapati, dosas. You can also eat it with rice. This one crispy dosa. Dunk it in the stew. And this is one hell of a plate in food heaven. So please do try this and let me know how you like it in the comment section below. Yeah and uh, if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel please do try watching this channel if you really really like it please